see if we're uh, if we're rolling. Yo, VS Ram or uh, Sharam, you got a mic, man. If you ain't got a mic, you're going. The post literally said requires mic. <laughs> That's fair enough. All right, we are alive, guys. So, all right, so we let's start off. Um, guys, that made final clips, aka obliteration point today, and we're about to do another broadcast today. This broadcast. As I explained before, it's going to be racing versus drifting. Which is better? It's an obvious question. It's separated force down the middle. We got a drifter. We got a racer. And that racer happens to be me. The other one happens to be another Twitch streamer. TNG over here. You see his name. is exactly uh, his, uh, Twitch stream. It's for Twitch channel. Spelled exactly how your gaming tag is. Yeah, it's just uh, instead of a space, it's underscore. Alright, guys. Well, you're here for him. If he includes, uh, you include the audio, right? Yeah. All right. You heard it from him, guys. If you guys want to check out his stream, he's all game. Check him out. All right. So let's get through to this broadcast, cause honestly, we want to get down to business. We already t we talked a little bit before about it, but I'm saying like this: we both we both been drifting for a while. Obviously, we both been drifting for about the same amount of time. Since four to three, and if we're gonna be honest about it, I guarantee you're probably a better drifter. Yeah, everybody has their days. All right, that's fine enough. All right, so let's get back into drifting a little bit. Explain, uh, explain drifting as a whole to what you think it makes the makes the. I'm trying to think of exact words to put it. Makes the community as a whole love drifting over racing. Uh, I mean, honestly, to me, it's just it's just the style. I, I just I like. The, uh, the style that you get from drifting instead of racing, um, but I mean everybody has their different opinions. I agree. And a lot of people are, uh, have been doing it since you know the uh, older forces. So pretty much what they started out doing, they're just going to carry on throughout. That's fair enough. The problem I usually had with uh, drifting as recently is as to racing. They both used to be kind of like the same thing in motorsport series, but now as everything's coming together, it seems like they're very quickly separating. Like they're completely different entities. Like either you're drifting or you're just racing now. And I don't know. Yeah. Uh, also, another thing is that like um, a lot of people like the uh, arcade feeling of the Horizon games, or you know, there's That's a lot mean, of people that like... also like the motorsports games, which have like the really you know, the sim feeling to him, if you know what I mean. Sometimes, you know, if you can agree on this, I feel like it's too simulator, just to be completely honest. It's not exactly my cup of tea anymore. Yeah, I mean, there is a, uh, a fine line with tuning on uh, both, both games. Obviously, on motorsports, you're going to have to put a little bit more effort into tuning. Because, I don't again, know like I said, it's, say this game, it's more really of a sim. Like, if, if, it's kind of like the same thing, you know, to make a perfect drift tune is not an easy feat. To be honest, to make a car, gearing comes a lot with the circuit cars, sprint cars, rally cars, even freaking trophy trucks I actually make. But with drifting, you know, there's always a fine line saying, is this really what I want to drift for, basically it's hurting me, or do I just want to stop this and build another thing? Yeah, and that's, that's another thing too, I've, I've actually caught myself doing this a lot, is uh, I'll make a drift car, I'll get the tune in it, and I'll think it's alright, and come to find out that I'll, I'll just get bored of it, I'll go to another car, and um, like I said, that is my problem, I have over 400 cars in my garage, and I've Same, made 300 I have four just drift cars. Holy shit, I have 453 cars. Most of race cars. So I will be with you today. Alright. So, do you think there's. I want to talk about this because I want another drifter's perspective on this. What is the fine line between all wheel drive and rear wheel drive as of now, at least? All wheel drive is for the I mean, honestly, now, um, pretty much in the community, <laughs> if you drift all-wheel drive, you're pretty much looked at as an underdog or a scrub if you would, and uh, 
Ribble Drive is just what everybody's doing now. It's just it it's comes just natural to everybody now. Skills. It's just because of that. Okay, if you want my perspective, if you want my perspective on it, an all-wheel drive tune is four times harder to make, but at the same time, all-wheel drive is that much more. Oh no! Oh, I dude! All-wheel drive is so much stable. Uh, no, that's what I'm saying. To make a so thing all-wheel drive, though, that actually holds. That actually that's what I'm holds. Saying. So much stable on the. No, to hold a grip all the way to it is so different in the high speed how the physics are. But with legal drive, it's so much easier. But at the same time, it's so much easier to drive all wheel drive than it is to drive wheel drive. So I always see it this way. And yes, my creepy guys. I feel like a very nerdy person would drive all wheel drive in this game because it's more fucking statistics than anything. But if you really want to be an enthusiast, three wheel drive is exactly what you That's mine. I try, I try to do all the way down. All the way down to me is pain. Uh, for me, I like, think, it, yes, all the way down is easier to drift. But I think mean, the series, though, the tuning is nowhere close to how hard it is. That's the only thing I hate, it's because it takes hours to fucking get a great all the way down to me. Well, it takes hours to get a great all the way down to me. I never had that problem though, because you no. Know, yeah, I'll be tweaking, but I'll be. No, Yo, you guys are gonna give me a follow. I uh, do appreciate it, guys. Uh, I, I agree with you on that. You know, if you're just gonna make something a little basic, just just to go with the fundamentals of everything, it's it's not gonna take much effort at all. Rear wheel drive or all wheel drive, or if even for a fucking race car, you can just fuck with tiny things here and there. Oh, in front of me. And you'll make something that actually works. But to make something that actually works well, that's a different story. That's exactly the problem, man. The thing, vortex, I, look, look the thing I see and, uh, about it is that racing is much is not seen as big as drifting. As drifting is like just a fucking. I'm being serious. I think it's gonna get to the point eventually where they're just gonna release it. It was a fool's of drifting game, honestly. There's games that've done it, but I don't know if they'll actually come back. I would like to see that. The way I see it is pretty much. Uh, this whole game is just opinion based, honestly. Okay, it's completely greedy. Mm. The thing though I don't fail I fail to realize though is that why why each side bashes the other right? It's fucking stupid. Yeah, I don't I don't really tend to bash anybody, but one thing I do hate is if people are using race tires, which if you're a knee drifter, I mean I do understand that. Oh, you know, dude, dude, listen, you're trying to go for as little tires. grip as possible. Little grip as yeah. fucking possible. That's the point. Well, yeah, that's the main point of The thing is, with the race tires, is I do get it that they fix the whole uh, grip issue because on Horizon 2, uh, if you were on somebody's door and they had race tires in front of you, you were say just you know stock or street tires. Oh my god, I gotta restart. This is a clusterfuck. Yeah. But if uh, if you were on like stock or street tires and the person in front of you was in the race, they would lay down more rubber than what you are putting down, so your car would uh, it would cause you to grip up. But they've actually fixed that on this game to where it's not gonna change the uh, the asphalt at all. You're just gonna get the same effect. Oh, that's fair. But I didn't even know that was an issue in the last few games. Yeah, it's, it's been an issue. But, um, one thing is, in this game, the only reason I don't like race tires is because I do like to, you know, get doors with people or 
other uh, other words tandem. And uh, oh, yeah, pretty much, if if you if you have race tires and you're behind somebody, you're just gonna constantly warm up and just bash the hell out of your door, and it's gonna eventually cause them to spin. But shit's it's terrible. Yeah, well, race tires though, that's something that I, I don't even think. Listen, just putting any tire upgrades in my opinion is just fucking retarded for drifting. Oh my god. Just keep your tire stock. Keep the tire width in the front wider than the rear. So your front has easier time to grip than the rear does. So you can actually turn. Stuff like that. Just little shit, you know what I mean? See, so yeah, that's another thing is. Uh what you're talk talking about there, I tune completely different. I like to run either. It just depends on the horsepower as well on the car. And uh, like I was saying earlier, the horsepower to weight ratio to somebody, that it really has a big uh, play out on how your car grows. But I usually yeah. run a stocker screen. Oh yeah, I'd say like if you run a car below, below maybe the 700 horsepower up to threshold, you're looking for a drift car that's very good at drifting around small corners. Like something that's tight. But if you're getting cars that you have a horse hard more, that car is a much, much easier time than doing wide corners. Find that medium is usually something that's hard to find, but that's usually what we try to look for. You know? That's also something that. That's usually what they go about. Racing in this game, like you get to actually the pro levels. Like, I'm at the pro levels around there. The fucking race gear gets stupid fucking competitive in this game. And yeah, you see, the difference is when you're racing and you're comparing. With drifting, there's no time. The only thing that it's more or less grace and how well you do. But for racing, we'll see. It's, more, it's more or less just like time to finish. Yeah, see, there's there's different ways. You know, you can judge drifting pretty much as you can judge it on. Um, let's see, your angle that you're getting, obviously. Um, what line you're taking, if you're hitting all your clipping points. Uh, another thing is, uh, let's see, your proximity, which is how far you are from the driver that you're battling. You know, different stuff like that. Is that talk about clipping points? So the way I can relate about racing is there's always a right way and there's always a wrong way. You know? And when you go pretty corner, much kind of like, kind of like following the apex, but sideways. Yeah, it's pretty much doing, you know, regular, say you have a drag race, and, you know, you have somebody there that's drifting, they would do the same thing you're doing pretty much hitting apexes, but they would refer to them as clipping points, because those are the points they want to try to hit, or, you know, not obviously, you know, hit hard as hell, but attack. The one thing though about drifting though that is like that's really fucking like frustrating though for a lot of new for new drifters. I don't know if you guys can relate to this at all. Is that getting into it though? Veterans they fucking shun new drifters. I mean, honestly, a lot of people do, but a person like me, I'm obviously I'm not new to drifting, but I'll help people out if if, if they need help. Then but you see, I'll you've probably seen that several forward. times. Yeah, I've seen it several times, yeah, yeah. And I've got, I've got, I got a fucking yelling match about that like, saying about that shit drifting. I have been drifting for a while as well. I'm not drifting as nice as I have been all the time, but at the same time, I, I can drift very well. I've been drifting since 4 and I know my way around the track, how to radius, and how to drift well. But the thing is, like, when you're looking at yeah. it, people fucking shun you drifters. And you don't know, seem to realize, and we were all there at the point. We all seem to know that how fucking hard it is to really try to run out of grip. The throttle control is the main key. 
Yeah, that that is uh, one thing that does help you out a lot of star control, but actually I've just recently found found this out, maybe a couple months ago actually. Um to be one hundred percent honest here is breaking is a big factor as well. Yes it is. Uh, yeah, you gotta lower you I, I used to be the I used to be the I used to be the type that would run, you know, stock brake pressure, stock uh Oh, pretty much how it is when you first tune your car. And I was finding myself where I would go to somebody's door and I have to slow down a little bit. And whenever I did, I would lose too much speed that would mess people up behind me. And uh, pretty much I had to come to the point where I was just adjusting my brake to where I think it should be. And eventually I found out you know, what's the correct point. Uh, where to start at and then what you because not all cars are the same obviously because different power different weight stuff like that so. exactly yeah. same way with racing the thing with uh, starting out a lot of races they keep getting frustrated and saying why are you so good how do you beat me so bad why do you keep why do you keep fucking going fast and fast while in the same exact car while I go slow and slow well with drifting it's the same exact way and a lot of a lot of drifters don't seem to understand it well, and I don't know if you guys can relate to this, is that when you're racing, it's there's no difference in what assists are on or off. Because even racing, all assists are off. I'm running, I'm running manual clutch. I'm running ABS off. I'm running no traction. I'm running no lines at all. I'm running stability traction completely off. And I'm just the only thing I don't run is cosmetic. Because I don't think any of us are that fucking. Tight. But, you get the point. That's what I'm saying. We all use everything on the in the first place. Yeah. And, if you can relate to that, that's something you got to try to learn for. Because that's universal everywhere. Another thing is, too, like, um, a lot of people in this game, you know, uh, like drifting, it's always the greatest to run, like, cosmetic damage. And, that is because, you know, obviously, I'm pretty sure you know, there's a hitbox when you're not running it. And, yeah. you know, on your screen, somebody will, you know, take take you out if you're drifting. But on their screen, they won't even hit you. It's like, no, nothing even happened. But, uh, it's a, it's there is stuff. some lobby it works really well. where you want to have fun and you want to run that simulation damage to get the realistic tire wear and stuff like that. But pretty much, pretty much it just, uh, just all down to preference. Again, exactly. there's that word again, preference. But it's, it's preference is a, huge, is a huge factor, but at the same time, you know it's true. Like, at one point or another, if you do want to get good at drifting, really good at drifting, or really good at racing, at one point or another, you're going to you're gonna have to learn how to drive with everything off at one point or another. That's just, that's universal. Like I said, everything is going to use that. Even drag racing. Yeah, drag racing is. I think the most similarities between you know racing on a circuit and drifting. They do both have uh, very close some similarities, but drag racing is a completely different ball ball game. Also. Oh yeah, drag. I'm okay. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm completely terrible at drag racing. I Exactly it. That's people don't. Uh, it's all the same racing, you know. What a lot of people don't seem to realize is. Why is Mano Clutch so much faster than Mano? Alright, here's the actual, here's the actual differences. Shift-wise, like, actual how far you can push it, they're the same exact fucking thing. The problem a lot of people don't seem to realize is that how fast you can grab the next time. That's exactly how, that's how that works. And yes, Clutch is a lot fucking harder than Mano. Like, it's a completely different thing. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I learned clutch and pull the horizon. That's where I started. Learning. 
Because the only reason is because I can't yeah. be like a little dream like these street players. I don't know how the fuck they be. I don't realize anything. Yeah, see me, I always tell everybody, blood mm -hmm. and shit. Clutch is the same as mine. You just add another button. And you have to push that button every time you shift. And shift down. Yeah, the whole... I love you. The one thing I used to have a problem with, man, is that shifting down, I used to never use the fucking clutch. But also, people don't seem to realize one other cool thing about Manny Clutch that you can't do manual is well, there's something called down pressure, which is like when you're actually shifting down, you hold the clutch in. You can shift down a little, you can break a lot harder. Which is something cool you can also do, which is very useful in racing. But the also thing people gotta realize that if you hold down clutch, you or well, shift uh, down the clutch when you're actually trying to break. It does not help you in the fucking slightest. You gotta let go of the fucking shift down. Shift down, hold the brake, and now will actually slow you down a lot more than just man. There's a lot of cool things you learn both side perspective, which is really cool. Like drifting, I don't I'll, I think it's more or less preference if, if you want to drive manual or or uh manual. Person. I think it's yeah, it's much but I think it's so much easier on manual clutch because if you're getting too big of angle, you can uh, clutch. clutch kick. Exactly. And once you clutch kick, you have that chance for your car swinging back around on the top. So the first time I've ever been to six fucking months. Uh, the hardest thing about racing is, do you guys have any questions about racing? Like, are racing time to get this look? I can answer it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm about to just depends. Like, um, I, I pretty much know what the whole racing scene is. It's it's not that much of a difference from drifting. You'd be very, but you'd be very surprised how complicated it really is. Because there's, yeah, it, listen, everything when goes with complications. Well, when you're doing it, for, when you're doing it like doing the pro level, the thing you gotta realize is every single car has a meta, which is, and if people don't realize what a meta is, it basically, it basically means how good this car is compared to other cars. And at always at one point or another. One vehicle is going to be so much more fucking better than the other, depending on how this game controls uh, what is apparently the fastest thing in the game. Or what the fastest thing can make it. Yeah, so you can make a Super Legacy fucking faster than a fucking, a really well tuned Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 6, right? And if you take a really well Lancer uh, Lance Evo 6 to it and go get some Super Legacy, Chances are, more than likely, that fucking Lancer is going to be faster because Lancer is always going to be faster. You know what I mean? Yeah. Lancer Evo 6 has been a top meta for A class and one class for a very long time. And it's just right, from, it's just right beside the, I'm trying to think of the exact part, the, the Super WRX 04 and Super WRX 05. Both Stupid fucking metal as well. And those three cars alone, even though they're not even classified really as extremely high performing cars, they control the fields. But that doesn't stop you. It doesn't stop you from making a good tune that can possibly beat the shit out of you. you know, it's like there's always chances to do something better. Yeah, that's like uh, the whole drift scene. Uh, there is cars that are like more used than others. That's just because they're good cars. You know, they have a better angle lock and stuff like that. Well, I, I don't even need to work PR. Your brand of crazy. Like it's like this. Themselves. Like you see, like cars like 
We'll say a really good car. The E36, the M3. That's extremely common drift car. Yeah, that's like, there, like uh, in drift comps, you don't see a lot of horizon vision cars that are drift no, cars because of the simple fact that their angle lock is way greater than the normal car. A prime example of that would be the S15 and the Supra. The drift edition of those gets stupid angle lock. You can throw that car completely, you know, 90 degrees and pull it back with no problem. But I was like saying though, are there some drip cars that absolutely can't stand up to others though? Like no matter uh, what I'm trying to try. Honestly no, because it just comes down to the thing. Alright, well it's the same way as racing, but at the same time it's like you can you can only push so far. That's the main difference, I see. Because with racing, yes, there's a limit. After a certain point, there's always a limit. Because you can only put... Your tires could only grip this hard, and only go this fast, and accelerate this hard, and go this fast. But in drifting, you know, like I said, it's more or less, it's more or less like racing. Than racing. Yeah, racing, you can make it an art thing. And in some facts, it kind of is. But... It doesn't have as much satisfaction unless you're winning the race. But when you're drifting, I will say this now, you might laugh as it is, right? When you're drifting, you're always winning. There's no losing unless you're not drifting. Well, I mean, yeah, but to some people, like myself, if I, uh, if I do mess up, like, Sam Shredder, like, doing a regular run, like we are now, I do get mad, mad at myself. Like, because the simple fact that, you know, I could have done better. You know, just people have that different, you know, form of drifting. I, I really beat myself up when I don't win a race in my mind, and it irritates the living hell out of me. And the thing I try to see, though, like I, I with other people, is I try to see new races and try to help out and take them as much as I can. But the thing is, I see myself getting frustrated trying to do that. Because I'm like saying, why teach these guys when I can keep winning to what I'm doing? But yeah, that may seem like a very scumbag thing for me to say, but it's true. Right? Yeah, and also, too, it pretty much gives a rebirth to like new people like coming into the community that you're doing. I see what you mean there, and yeah, I completely agree with that. Holy oh, shit, where am I? This is fucking cool. Oh shit, I know what's here. Alright. Oh, this area is fucking cool. Oh, uh, but yeah, when you're trying to think about like, new racers and racing, it's like. Yes, it's like to make a to drive is not hard. You can press and spam the fucking RT trigger until your fucking oh my finger God. fucking falls off. Yeah, that's completely that's fine, you know. But the problem is, you know, when you're trying to actually think about how to do it well, there's so much steps you gotta take, and it's the same way with drifting. Yeah, that's like the way I look at it. It is it pretty much it's it it's a way you got. Forza Horizon 3, the game, you start off the way. Then you come down, you have your different forms of racing. You've got your drag racing, your circuit racing, your rally racing, and then drifting. You know, then off of those, you just use drifting for an example. Where you have the people that like to go fast, you got people like to go slow. You got the people that, you know, just do it for the style. You got people to do it just a tandem. You know, there's multiple reasons why people do what they do. That's exactly it, man. You know, it's just like... The way I see it like this is... I think the step for most new players, if they really want to know what they really want to do, is... Do the basics for both stop for both stops, lock to lock. And once they actually learn oh, no. how to do... No, but once they learn how to do everything, right? and actually can figure everything out. 
then take the step to say, oh, I want to be a slow drifter or a fast drifter. Or I want to be a, or if you want to go to racing, I said, I want to just do sprint races. I want to do mixed surface races. You know what I mean? It's just, it's more or less, you got to find your spot. And I do, I do honestly got to think of you that come together. That's completely awesome. They did, uh, That's an option they should. I think they should add to Forza. That'd be a great some people idea. Be cheating. It would make uh, it would make it a lot easier. Well, I'm just saying, if you did it like that, though, you got to think of it this way. If you did it the way he said, you can actually make the whole audience try to make everything a lot more cleaner or a lot cleaner and organized. But at the same time, you can have people that can break the fucking game, that can take something. And basically, fucking stretch the limits to anything they wanted. See, that's why, in my opinion, Forza Motorsports 4 is the best Forza that's ever made. Uh, no, no Forza this far. Listen, has ever I'm still good. Because of the simple fact that uh, Forza, whenever you did a private lobby, you can actually go in there and find the settings like the max horsepower limit, what PI you have to be at, and you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Exactly. That's. That option, this should that Listen, the one thing I wish they brought back from Forza 4, and you guys are laugh, is I thought soccer was such a cool fucking idea. If you, if you, yeah, if you can, pretty if much you can like do Rocket some, League. <laughs> yeah, I know, but think of it this way: if we can do some more stuff like that in Forza, like some more outlandish shit as well, do you know how f cool that would be. Yeah, that's like, another imagine, thing is too. You have people that just this. play Forza for those like the playground games. Exactly. They don't really get but, into yeah. drifting or but racing. But the playground that much. games for this game suck dick. That's the problem. I'm sorry. Like, but you think take someone from Forza 4. Dude, you had so many, so many options. There were 32 mini games. Like, 32 fucking mini games. Mm -hmm. And. And one of them was. That was a stupid popular time was something called soccer. And if you don't know what soccer is, look up in a fucking textbook. But if you. If you actually played that, you know, I remember, like, I used to have a C63 AMG, which is a massive car built by Mercedes. Like, massive. And I remember, like, having having built it for most downforce possible, it being the heaviest it can possibly be. So, and all-wheel drive with 900 horsepower, so I can push around Hummers and fucking and Tiguans, and all everything else you can imagine that weighs a lot. And I still remember to this day that... It was always fun because drifters, drifters are coming together, racers are coming together, and even people that just play soccer just come together. And they were there were people that just only played soccer. And I still think it was a blast, man, because it was such an outlandish fucking idea, but it worked so well. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if we can bring more stuff like that. To you, but cool. Like imagine we brought demolition derby. How cool that would be. Yeah, see, that's where, the, that's where it kind of, like, the community, like, divides off, and that's where the Forza, the creators look at, is, they look at, okay, are people doing more of this, are people doing more of that type of deal, like, because, in my opinion, I guess it's just because I do drift a lot, that's pretty much all I do in this game, there's more drifters than anything in this game. But that, like I just said, that may be just because I'm a drifter. I don't really so care about that. But. That's really fair, you know. But I'm not saying you get what I mean by that, though. Like, can you imagine if they did for drifting? I like. So they, I remember when. Sorry, I remember when Boys uh, Boys was out. They used to have like basically they used to have everybody like group together on like big ass tracks of Virginia Kaido. 
Now you'll be lucky if you get something the size of Maple Valley. Yeah, and that all, that all comes down to, to licensing issue because, yes, but you I know. Understand that. But, you know, for Junior Kaido, that was something, that wasn't a hard license issue because I guarantee you they would be more willing to actually put that back in the game. I yeah, think it's more and that's less actually the one of the tracks that are uh, coming back to Fortune Rose Road 7, believe it or not. But, um, that's coming back to Fort Morse Road 7, and I do believe they did say Maple Valley was coming back as well. Maple Valley and Fujimi Kaido were the two biggest fifth tracks in all of history. That, and I've seen a, little, a lot of people around the uh, the Indianapolis circuit, but not the full circuit, but they run a section in the circuit. But you get what I mean by that, though. Maple Valley was the, the probably most popular track. Probably. Yeah, the GP. And well, the main problem I see, though, with Forza, though, as a whole, is the thing is, I feel like they're now just targeting too much racing, when racing is not even as big as drifting anymore in the motorsport scene. Yeah. See, the biggest thing is on the, uh, the Motorsport series, in my opinion, is drag racing and drifting. Drag racing is huge in Motorsport series. Boss, I'm giving that three stars out of three. See, me, like, where I've been playing this game here for so long, if I switch over to Motorsport 6, I would just be trash. I'd have to, you know, relearn the physics, relearn the tuning and all that all over again. It's more like, like, it's like the same way though. Like, and since everything's more arcade, you can be a little looser, but you got to be a little looser with how you are uh, driving and racing in this game, the downforce as well. But when you're playing Forza, everything is like a very big difference. So you gotta be, you gotta take your time and like tweak everything a little bit at a time. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people, oh, um, God, I'm Take stuck the word to see. Oh, man. Like, the way I see it is you like what you like. And there's people that only like drift on motorsports, there's people that only drift on Horizon. There's no, some people, I, I've actually seen that too. I've heard some people that are like, that's the shit I've been like, I've been doing. Yeah. Yo, it costs you about that. Freaking beastin'. Just chillin' out. Oh, I'm gonna hop off. Alright, man. Just quit playing with you. You can add me if you want any time, you know, uh, I got a stream going up or something. Always hop in. So, join. yo, if we can get someone for all of you, so don't get really sad that as a whole, and this is only supposed to be a small broadcast, this is what you do. It's, it's just what it's put in out there. Is, you do what you like. You do what you like. And don't let anybody tell you different than what it's supposed to be, because the problem I see, like, like I like to say it for a fucking million times, is that is, the community is just too divided. See, we'll man, I think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing with the community is divided. Because it pretty so? much brings up a new spectrum of different activities to do. You know, because it brings up new things to do, even with drifting. Like, just for an example, like drifting, there's some people that, you know, don't know about tandems, you know, stuff like that. They've never really heard of it because they're just now getting into it, or the whole fact that they only drift with race tires, you know, stuff like that. I, I don't believe it. Anyway. Well guys, if there's anything to tell you, it's just do what you want and go to the hole. Because 
I know that TNG will be around for a while. It's playing on the first day of the game, but I have definitely no idea what to do. Oh, that's a dead so, I'm hoping to finish up my collection. That's it. Well, guys, we are already here from the racer's perspective and from the drifter's perspective. Just do what you like. There's nothing wrong with liking either or liking both. Because, hey, honestly, I think it's cool that basically the community is just is just this big though, which is cool. Though. That's one thing I can definitely say is that the community itself is massive. It's so much bigger than people think it is. You know what I mean? It's so much fucking bigger. And when yeah, you're looking and at drifting as a whole, drifting as a whole actually makes up almost half or even more than half of the community. I think drifting is the biggest thing in this community currently. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. You know, between all racing games, drifting is number one on top because it's just been evolving. Like, there's so many more people, even in real life, like me, for example. Um, I've been getting into the uh, Formula Drift stuff, you know, watching that, and it's made me to where I want to get, you know, a cheap little drift car to start out with. And I want it. That's uh, the same thing. I, like, I love Rally. I love Rally as a whole, and I've always been into it, even in this game. I love fucking Nick Surface Racing. It's my absolute favorite thing to do, and I, I fucking love it with a passion. And in so many different rivals times, I worked my Lancer Oak Evo 6 so hard to get to the top 20 in the world for this rival time and this rival time and this rival time and you know I just try to push my limits and you know what I'm saying like that inspires me it really does it does inspire me to like, say oh yeah I'm just gonna take a random fucking Ford Ranger and I'm gonna just go through somebody's fucking backyard at 130 miles per hour but it's <laughs> it's not good but at the same time but at the same time, it would say, like, yeah, I'd actually like to try this this sort of thing in Rally. Like, I don't doubt it's the same thing for Formula Drift, you know what I mean? Like, it's not going to inspire yeah, you to fucking drift in the road. Like, that, and that's something that fucking stupid, but... The way the way I'm going to do it, starting out, I mean, I want to buy, like, a cheap little, like, you know, uh, the 240. I, it is a The 240 well SX is probably, like, the best, is probably the best car to It's start pretty with. much out of style, pretty much, because of how much people use it, but... It's the easiest car to start with. It's cheap to build, you know, stuff like that. But whenever I get it, I'm probably going to swap the SR for a V8. Like everybody does. Just because, just because the V8 is going to be more reliable. It's most likely going to be easier to find parts if you do break I something have, on listen, it. Listen, I'm not going to lie to you. I've used to, I used to own a C4 ESX with the SR20. I don't know. And the thing about the SR20 is, yeah, it's, it's a really reliable motor. And it's got some, it's got decent horsepower. It's enough to get the tire spinning decently. You know what I mean? With a good turbo inside of everything. But, like with a V8, like an LS1, which is easy to put inside of it with a, a certain kit. Yeah, you get more, a lot more power down immediately. You don't have to spend any more money immediately. But with the SR20, but it's not as, it's not as, say, uh, per, as reliable as SR20. But the SR20 also has common problems like distributors, distribu distributed caps, and stuff like that, like wiring melting, because the wiring in that car wasn't exactly, and that motor wasn't exactly great. But it's saying, like, it's more or less what you want to do, man. It's like, just do you. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. If you want to put a fucking yeah, that's like, inside of a Prius, do it. See, it's like, uh, I want to get an S13, the, the coupe. And if I get that. I'm gonna make it a sand spray. I'm not gonna drop, you know, a fucking uh, uh, VA stuff like that. I'm probably gonna keep stock SR. And... But that's just because. This is gonna be. Yeah. But for the S13, the only reason why I don't really want to go V8 with that is because I'm only going to use it as like a show car, you know what I mean? Alright, but anyway, as a whole though, the cool is that, with my race perspective, hey, I love racing, you know? And for your drift process, for perspective, yeah, you fucking love drifting, right? Yeah, I, I love drifting. It's something I'll never stop doing it. I'll probably be an old man still playing these games, drifting around. Well, 
Let's come together, shake hands, man, and just put it, just put it away. I don't think there's any bad difference between both of them. No, nah, there's really not. All right, man. So I think that's a good way to end the broadcast. Hey guys, thanks for watching though. I know it's a small broadcast. Usually it's something I run like three, four hours on average. But you know what? Hey, I had a little fun, and we put down a little knowledge and a little background to older players can talk to newer players. You know what I mean? It's it's a nice way to look at it. A lot of people don't a lot of people don't take the time to realize about all the roots of where the stuff came from is where most of the players actually came from. You know, and a lot of people sticked around, and drifting is fucking massive, and ever since Forza 3, drifting has really been spiking over and over and over again, and that's really where it started picking up. And even recently, I think a lot of racers come in more than drifters, but at the same time, from my perspective, I just see it as there are more, more or less wannabe racers that they need to take the time and learn the basics first. And that thing that's just the main part I'm going to tell you guys is learn the basics. Because if you learn the basics, racing or drifting, you can learn anything you fucking want. Just take the time to learn. And without further ado, this is if you guys want to follow TNG, he's he should be down in the uh, description. He's It's TNG underscore and his, basically instead of his spaces on, and then his name over there. It's in the, uh, well, it's in the description. Anyway, guys, this is a final clip of obliteration point, and it's my time to say peace out, and remember, for turn 10, race on. Oh my god.